Hi, welcome. Welcome to my channel, Mo Moon Tarot. My name is Mo Moon, and I'm here with you today to do the week ahead fortune telling. So, Monday, November 16th, Tuesday, November 17th, Wednesday, November 18th, Thursday, November 19th, Friday, November 20th, Saturday, November 21st, and Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. I am not going to be doing any scrying today, but I am using my Before Tarot. The Before Tarot, moments before the actual tarot card, and including the information of the actual tarot card, if you know the Rider Waite Smith deck like I do. So I'm just shuffling up my cards here. We already got Monday. I'm going to show you the cards in a little bit. Monday, November 16th. So now we need Tuesday, November 17th, please. Monday and Tuesday. Okay, I'm going to take Tuesday, the Emperor. Wednesday, the Three of Wands. Now we need Thursday, the 19th, Thursday, the 19th, I'm going to take the top card, Thursday, the 19th, we have the Seven of Cups, Friday, the 20th, what can we expect Friday, the 20th of November, 2020, the Four of Wands for Friday, November 20th, Saturday, November 21st, Saturday, November 21st, 2020. Okay, I'm top here. Saturday, November 21st, we have the Four of Cups. And Sunday, November 22nd, we have the Hierophant. All right. Thank you for the card spirit. Thank you for being here and for introducing us to our year, our, uh, our fortune ahead for this coming week. Monday, November 16th, we have the Four of Swords. The energy for Monday is, it can be tiring for you if you don't, um, Make yourself aware of the fact that the energy will be tiring, but you can do what it is you know how to do to get yourself moving. So it could be as simple as having a coffee on a Monday to kind of get those um, those muscles moving, get that brain going. Um, there is a sense of tiredness coming in, a sense of wanting to sleep, a sense of, of wanting to rest, of just not wanting to do anything, of wanting to stay home in your pajamas. Um, it's a, it's an energy that can be very heavy, but if you are aware that the energy is coming in on Monday in this way, then you can prepare to do what it is you do in order to re-energize re yourself, whether that is, um, you know, saying an aff affirmation over yourself for the day to say that you will do your best to get things done, that you will do whatever it takes as long as divine gives you the energy you need to get through your working day, to get through um, your everyday um, routines. You can take this as a time to rest. It would be a good time to rest or to do things that take rest and discipline, such as meditating. If you feel like Monday is a day for you where you don't have to go to work and you just want to meditate all day, um, you can go ahead and do that, but make yourself aware that you can fall asleep quite easily on Monday because the energy is kind of draining in that sense um, because it's going to take discipline to move forward on Monday. It's going to take affirmations. It's going to take a coffee. It's going to take a Red Bull. It's going to take uh, green tea. It's going to take whatever you drink to get yourself going. Um, Monday is going to be that day where if you have to get yourself going, you're going to need something like this. So that's Monday, November 16th, the Four of Swords. 
Tuesday, November 17th, we have the Emperor card. So the energy is going to be very um, oppressive on Tuesday. And when I say oppressive, I mean you're going to have uh, a lot of bad thoughts about yourself if you're not careful. You're going to let the oppressive energy of November 17th kind of gets you down on Tuesday if you're not aware of the fact that that's just the energy around you and that you can always try to work against it. Um, I, I would I would suggest working against the oppressive energy by working with it. So if there's something that you need to get done and it's been pressing on you for a while to get it done and you've been putting it off and putting it off, the Emperor card lets you know that you can go ahead and get that done. Um, the Emperor wants you to get what you can done done on Monday, but you may be still feeling a little bit of um, a drag from, from, from Monday. So did I say Monday when I meant Tuesday? I meant Tuesday the Emperor energy is going to be an energy where you can go ahead and get those things done that have been put off and put off and put off because Monday we had the four of swords which was that tired energy and it could be carrying into Tuesday if you're not aware of the fact that you have now the emperor energy which is a go-getter energy um, if you're still feeling tired from Monday I would suggest taking that coffee or that green tea or eating that apple that has that sugar in it to kind of get you going whatever it is that you use to get you going the emperor energy is there to tell you that you know the aries energy with the power of mars is go getting fiery energy um, of not letting anything get in your way and you can take advantage of that energy by working with it and getting a lot done or you can feel um, bad about yourself and feel like, oh, I'm so lazy, I never get anything done. I kind of feel like yesterday was a flop and now I just don't feel good anymore. Or you could be like, yesterday was a flop, yes, if I, if I didn't um, uh, take the energy of rest and work with it, then you might feel like a flop on Tuesday, November 17th. But you can also feel good on Tuesday, November 17th. And you can say like, okay, I have this really fiery energy behind me and like under my butt, like ready to get me going, ready to get me boiling, to, to get me going on my day. So if you're watching this video, I would suggest that if you're feeling tired from Monday with the four of swords and kind of wanting to just do nothing and stay home in your pajamas, and even feeling like a little bit lazy at work. If you're still feeling like that Monday, just know that Tuesday the energy is changing. It's the emperor energy. You don't have to feel tired anymore. You can you can take advantage of the emperor energy to get done the things that you need to get done. So that's Tuesday, November 17th. So Wednesday, November 18th, we have the three of wands and an, an independent card as well. Um, but it's more of a card of wanting to have company while you're being independent. So um, you may, you know how sometimes you're, if you're both independent people and you're living together, you each kind of do your own thing, but it's nice to have company. Well, the three of wands is saying that on Wednesday, November 18th, you're going to feel like you want to have company, like, but you don't want to be like having to talk to that person so much. Like you might want to go out for a walk with somebody, but you don't want to go out for a coffee with somebody because then you feel then you feel like you have to have a conversation. And I kind of feel like you still want to be going physically. And so if you say, hey, I'm going for a jog, do you want to come with me? And this person's like, yeah, you don't really have to talk. You can enjoy the nature, but you can also get something done that's like willpower, you know, pushing yourself because the wands are willpower, right? And we have three of them, um, a very magical and community like number number three so I do feel like um it's going to be nice to have someone around who's independent with you on Wednesday November 18th but if you don't have that I would suggest getting out and um you know uh just going to see somebody out of the house I would suggest like trying to stay in somebody's company because if you're alone all day on Wednesday with the three of wands I feel like you might just get so like wound up in yourself and start to put yourself down and start to kind of like criticize yourself to the extent where it could become overwhelming so I feel like on Wednesday if you can um you know spend some time with your cat playing with your cat or um take your dog out for another extra walk that day or go out in like in public if it's a nice day and just walk around other people not too close obviously you want to keep your distance and you want to wear your mask if you're around several people but I would say that Wednesday is a good day to kind of get out and get jogging outside or walking outside or biking outside if you can or even if it's a snowy day you can still take a walk outside and hear the crunch of the snow under your feet 
But I would say that um, if you can't be in somebody's company, I would say try to make the most of your physical energy because we have the wands, which is willpower, drive, spiritual ener energy, but also energy of like movement. And so with the three of wands, I would say that if, if you're not able to, to have somebody to hang out with, whether it be a, a, a furry friend or an actual friend or a family member, just one person, it doesn't have to be a whole group of people. It really just has to be one person or one familiar, one cat, one dog, you know, even if, you know, somebody that's going to keep you company, you know, and it doesn't have to be all day either. It can just, it could be just like a couple hours. Like if you just get a couple hours of time with somebody who can um, be with you, really be with you and understand your energy and kind of even chat, chat a little bit, but not necessarily have a heart to heart, deep down and dirty chat, but just, just a little chat, you know, or get out because even if you just get out with other people, if it's a nice day or if a lot of people are out and you get out and you're walking down the sidewalk and you're, you know, moving away so they can, they can keep keeping your social distance. But I just feel like Wednesday is a day where you can, you can easily get down on yourself. You just have to make sure that um, you're planning to go see somebody or you're planning to go out for an extra walk with your dog or you're planning to throw the ball with your dog and spend more time with your dog. Like if you're not a people person, you could just be an animal person. But I feel like even just uh, talking to the animals, if you're that if you're that type of person as you walk or um you know, um, getting some sort of quick chat in with a neighborhood friend, um, some sort of human contact. And also, um, if you're not into humans, animal contact, where you're going to feel like you had an, you had a good time, like getting to know that animal or that person better, even if it's just a tiny bit, or just having a good feeling about having talked to that person or having gone on a jog with your dog. And like, that's not usually what you do, but your dog got some good exercise. I really do feel like um, Wednesday with the three of wands, the 18th of, of November is a good day for that kind of thing. So now we have Thursday and it is the seven of cups. So Thursday, there's a lot of opportunity before you. There could be a lot of opportunity. That's putting it nicely. It could also be that you're looking at your, your day and you're thinking, oh my God, how am I going to get all of this done? I feel so overwhelmed. Um, I would suggest that on Thursday the 19th of November, make yourself a quick list. If you got to go grocery shopping, I'd say make yourself a quick list so you don't feel overwhelmed trying to uh, remember everything or so that you don't feel overwhelmed when you go home and you realize you forgot the mayonnaise or whatever, you know, so and you have to go back again some point this week when you really didn't want to have to go out again to the grocery store. So on on Thursday, November 19. I would suggest that because you have a lot of things that are presented to you in the sense of um, having a lot ahead of you and having a lot to get done, um, I would suggest making a list. I would suggest taking it one step at a time, um, doing the most important things first um, because you may not have time for everything that you want to do on Thursday. So if you have to go to your job, obviously that's a priority, right? If you have to take care of your mental health and you feel like you can't go, go jobbing and adulting that day, then make sure that you uh, take a mental health day, but then make sure that you do something for yourself where you're helping yourself out because you will still, even if you don't go to work because you feel like there's so much other stuff that you want to do. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling before where you're like, oh my God, I feel so anxious because I have so much I want to do, but I have to go to work and I want, I'm not going to get everything done. So you take a mental health day and you end up getting it done a lot of errands that you had to do, but don't think that, okay, well, phew, I'm off of the hook now. I don't have to go to work. That takes a little a lot of strain off of my of, of my mind you still will have a lot of things that you want to get done so it's still don't think that because you don't have a, a job to go to that day that it's going to be any easier for you to approach your day and to feel like you're not overwhelmed by the things coming at you so I really suggest that on Thursday November 19th that you make a list that you make yourself aware of everything that you have to do um, and that you take everything one step at a time um and that you really focus your attention on that one thing at a time. Um, but also focus your attention on yourself and how you feel. Because a lot of times if we if we are um, 
overwhelmed by something in our life, if we just focus on ourselves and how we feel and then start to move through the day, we can really tell what it is we need to do first because we'll feel at peace with that movement. So if you're like, okay, I have to sweep the floor, I have to wash the bathroom and I want to blow dry my hair. Well, you could be like, okay, well, I'm going to um, wash the bathroom first because that's the biggest thing and I want to get that done first. But you might start doing that and be like, wow, I really wish I didn't feel so dirty and grimy, like, but I'll still wash the bathroom, but I feel horrible and I feel depressed. Go get, take your, take your shower first, blow dry your hair and then get on to the chores in the house. There's no rule that says that you have to do this before that or that before this. Do what makes you happy on Thursday with the seven of cups. So Friday, the 20th of November, we have the four of wands. So the energy for the four of wands is a celebration energy. And you have to be aware of the celebration energy on Friday, the 19th. No, the 20th. Yeah. So Friday, the 20th of November, 2020, Friday. So you want to be aware that the energy that you have on Friday coming in is a very spiritually joyous energy. You may not be aware of the energy around you. And that's why sometimes you get stuck in this mentality of, oh, this will never happen. If you want to celebrate somebody's birthday or celebrate something and take yourself out for, um, you know, a coffee at Starbucks, a nice latte, because you want to celebrate that you got something done this week that you never thought that you were going to accomplish so soon. Or if you want to celebrate somebody's birthday, but you feel like you don't have the energy to call them up, um, you do. Okay, you do. You have the four of wands. This is an energy of celebration coming in. Don't listen to the naysayers in your head that say, I can't do this. It's too excited. It's too much excitement. It's too much um, positivity. It's, it's going to take too much energy because I don't want to have to be sucking all this energy of, out of myself to be positive and to be energized and to be to be talkative. That energy is behind you, okay, on Friday. The energy of wanting to talk, the energy of wanting to be happy, the energy of wanting to celebrate, the energy of wanting to um, do what's good for yourself and to celebrate yourself and to pamper yourself. The energy on Friday this week coming, November 20th, 2020, is one where you can, you can have that celebration. You can have that peace, that stability, um, with the four wands, like st standing up like a post, like a, t like a tent. It's also the fact that there's stability on Friday. There's really stability to get things done, but to get the most energetically um, necessary things done as well. Also, the four um, poles here on this picture of the four of wands symbolize um, an old story um, from the Bible times where um, there was... Um, one of the Jewish men, in order to um, celebrate, he put a tent up like this so that when they were celebrating within the tent, the, um, the, the biblical person, the Jewish person could see from afar who was coming in on their camels. And from afar, he would say, okay, such and such a person is coming in, prepare this. I want them to be um, greeted with this type of um, drink. And I want to... Um, play this type of music when they get here. Um, so get the band going for that. And so this, the story is that um, you you can be aware with this card, the Four of Wands, of getting yourself ready to give the love and the attention and the um, affirmation to somebody that needs it. So if you're feeling like, oh, I, I, I wish I could call, I feel like I wish that I could kind of talk to this person and let them know that they're doing a good job because I, I feel bad for this person. I don't know why they told me about their story like a couple weeks ago or something and I'm still thinking about it. I'm wondering how they're, how they're doing. Um, this is a car, card where you can show that love. You can call up that person. If you have somebody on your mind that you've been meaning to call, you can call them up instead of texting them if you have that on your mind and you can actually have a pretty good conversation with them on Friday, the 20th of November because there's that celebration card openness to celebration um in this card there is there's a group of people back here i don't know if you can see that and um, there's the cart here and there's a person here but there's a group of people 
with um with bouquets coming from behind so it's a card of like um letting love into your life but also giving love out so the 21st of november which is a saturday 2020 we have venus enters scorpio and um the sun enters Sagittarius on both days. So November 21st, which is a Saturday, 21st of November, 2020, um, Saturday, Venus enters Scorpio. So Venus is the planet of love, loyalty, um, obsession, intensity, power, control, and going deep. And it's going into Scorpio. So it's going to be going deep into Scorpio with the idea of loyalty, obsession, intensity, and power. So that's the kind of energy you're going to feel on Saturday. But the sun enters Sagittarius as well on Saturday, the 21st of November. So it's a time to open our hearts because there's deep love coming in with um, Venus in Scorpio, Venus entering Scorpio, there's deep intensity coming in. So with the sad sun in Sagittarius, which is expansive and a time to open your heart and soul, it's not like you're going to be overwhelmed with the intense energy because you're going to be having uh, the energy of wanting to open your heart with the sun in Sagittarius and kind of letting whatever needs to come in, 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 and letting whatever needs to go out, out. So, so it, it's time to open our heart and souls because the sun is in Sagittarius on Saturday, the 21st of November to all the great opportunities the world has to offer with the bold fire sign of Sagittarius that loves to travel, have fun and um, learn new things. So that's all in the day of Saturday, November 21st. And it's the four of cups that we have. So with the Four of Cups on the 21st of November, which is a Saturday, 2020, I'm feeling a sense of gratitude. I, I, I see that um, you're paying attention to uh, the things that you need to pay attention to and you're giving the attention to each of those things um, one at a time and just enough. Okay, you're, you're taking in just enough and you're giving just enough. There's a real sense of balance on Saturday I think it's because, like I said, um, Venus enters Scorpio, which is intensity, but then the sun enters Sagittarius as well on November 21st, which is opening up our hearts. So even though there's an intensity all around us, we're opening up our hearts and our souls to all the great opportunities the world has to offer. And we're also, um, we're going deep, but we're also, um, we're also experiencing intensity and it's an easy time to become obsessed, right? Because like this person in this card here where there's three um, cups being handed to this individual and the individual already has a cup in um, his hands. It's, it's easy to become obsessed and not realize that there's other things out there. So with this card, I see it as this individual is drinking out of this cup, but I feel like at this point, the individual is reaching for every last drop, not realizing that there's still a lot of drinks up there, a lot of cups, a lot of, a lot to take in, a lot to drink up. And he can just put that other cup down and focus on taking another cup, this individual. So it's really about opening up your focus, opening up your view, your vision to see what's around you. Because maybe there's nothing else out around you that you need to pay attention to, but maybe there is. And with this four of cups on Saturday, November 21st, I have the feeling that there could be a lot out there that you're not paying attention to, that you need to kind of just open your vision, open your horizons, broaden your horizons and see what else there is to offer, especially with the sun in Sagittarius on this on this day, the 21st of November. Um, it's expansive. It opens up our hearts and souls, to all the great opportunities. So don't miss opportunities on Saturday. Make sure that you're opening your heart your mind your vision your emotions even it, it could even be your emotions because this is the four of cups so it could be that sometimes you start to feel a different kind of emotion that you didn't feel in a long time um take that into consideration and ask yourself why am i feeling this emotion on saturday i never i haven't felt this emotion in a long time or i've never felt this emotion at all so what does that mean for me so i do think that on saturday there's a lot of asking questions because i feel like that is what's going to help you expand um, and be in the energy of the sun in sagittarius november 21st so lastly we have sunday november 22nd and we have the hierophant 
on Sunday, which I find that the Hierophant on Sunday is a great card because to me, the Hierophant um, symbolizes some sort of Catholic priest or Catholic um, Pope, I should say. Yeah, like somebody who's Catholic and who's in like a position of power. And I don't mind the Pope that we have now. I feel like I like that he's opening up um, the church to um, LGBTQ community and allowing people to get married. Um, I, I like the Pope that we have right now. I don't know his name. <laughs> Forgive me for being ignorant like that. But um, I don't live in Italy, so I don't really pay attention to what the Pope's doing, except for when it's on the news. But with Sunday and the Hierophant, I really do feel like it's a very sacred day. I feel like um, Sunday is going to feel like a very sacred day. The energy is going to be very, so oh my God, it's going to be so good though. It's If you're into that type of energy, I feel like Sunday is going to be one of those days where you go for a walk and you feel like you smoked a joint, or you go for a walk and you feel like you're on cloud nine, or you go for a walk and you just feel like you're in some other time zone because like you you feel so much like of the of the element of fire air earth and water all at the same time it's almost like there's going to be a really good balance of energy on sunday so much so to the point that you're going to feel like you're on top of the world like you're going to feel like this higher fence who knows so much, who is wise, who is open to um, learning from the divine, who's already learned so much from the divine, who's opening their heart, soul, and spirit. I feel like on Saturday with the Four of Cups and the Sun entering Sagittarius, that's great. But I feel like Sunday, the 22nd of November, with the Hierophant, it even it gets even to, into more um, Sun and Sag Sagittarius energy because I feel like um, we're opening ourselves up more just based on the fact that we have this Hierophant energy on Sunday. Because the Hierophant is there to be the wise person, right? Um, the, they, they even get a sense of worship from their their priests and from their, their or the nuns or um, even in Italy, it's the everyday people worship the Pope, you know, they, they think he's like a God. And so with this energy of that kind of, um, ma it's like a magical energy on Sunday. I don't know how else to put it. I feel like Sunday's a day where you kind of feel like when you're moving, you're moving in slow motion, even though you're moving at a regular pace. Um, it's going to feel like like you smoke something maybe like like you smoke something and now you're just like wow the world is awesome dude like i really do feel like that's the energy for sunday um and i hope it is because i think that that'll be a nice type of energy to have around us where we don't have to do any drugs but we can still feel like we're on some sort of high and i don't think it's going to be a bad trip if you can just harness the fact that this is the energy that we're going to be going into and it's nothing to trip over like for yourself you don't have to go on some sort of bad trip feeling this energy you just have to jive with it do what you do best love yourself is one of the most important things when you're feeling like this because if you don't love yourself and you start to go on some sort of high you could easily start tripping on yourself and the things that are bad about yourself so for sunday the higher friend energy but it's also about structure. The, the, the Hierophant is also about structure. So if you have to go to a job on Sunday, go to your job, do it to the best of your ability. Because on Sunday, I really do feel like you're feeling your job even. Like you're feeling the the um, rules of the job. You're feeling it like you're doing it by the book. You're really feeling like, oh my God, I got this job. Like I could do this job like the back of like like I know it like the back of my hand I could do it with my eyes closed like but I'm the man I'm the boss I'm the woman I'm doing this like I really do feel like if you have a job and you can't go out for a walk and experience you know nature and all that um, I feel like the job is gonna really be like feeling good for you on Sunday as well so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we covered Monday the 16th, Tuesday the 17th, Wednesday the 18th, Thursday the 19th, Friday the 20th, Saturday the 21st, and Sunday the 22nd. So I'll just go over those cards again. Monday we had the Four of Swords, the Tired Energy. Tuesday we had the Emperor, the Getting It Done Energy. Wednesday, we have the Three of Wands, the independence, but trying to find somebody to hang out with so you don't get all wishy-washy on yourself. Seven of Cups on Thursday, a lot of things being presented to you. Pay attention to one thing at a time. Friday, the Four of Wands, being open to receive and celebrate and to love and also to give, celebrate and love in return. Saturday, the Four of Cups, letting the opportunities that are open to come to you to, op to come into you don't keep focusing on harping on the same thing but allow things 
to like let, let go of things that are no longer serving you in order to allow new things in. And Sunday, the Hierophant, almost feeling like a sense of a higher self, but also feeling a lot of structured in order to get your job done. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to take a little sip of my witch's brew. That was a good reading. I hope you enjoyed it. So please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up two times if you can. Three times actually is better than two. Um, and also comment on my, on my video if you want. Subscribe to my channel. Um, my name is Mo Moon and my channel here is Mo Moon Tarot and I do videos quite frequently. And also hit the notification bell, the little um, bell that says that you will be notified when I put up another video similar to this one in the near future. So I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this uh, fortune telling for the week of November 16th to November 22nd, 2020. Again, Mo here. Peace out. Bye.